You scout the nets for him? Scout the nets? Yes. That's not my job. <laughs> <laughs> my assistant, Jaron Collins, has the nets. Uh, I'll give you my assessment, though. Yeah. Um, watching them the last year and a half has been impressive in terms of the culture that's being built. Um, these guys play with great energy, um, passion. They're playing fast. Um, I'm impressed with what Sean Marks has done in terms of um, maybe having the worst hand to play with as a GM of anybody in the history of this league. <laughs> I may, that may be hyperbole, but I, I don't know if I can find a, another example of a guy taking a job with a, a bad team with no draft picks. Um, and yet, um, he's hired a great coach. Kenny's doing a great job. Uh, I mentioned the culture. You can feel it. You can, you can feel when you play them. They play with energy and passion. And so they're building something. Um, and obviously, it's going to take more time, but it's, uh, there's a foundation being laid. I can see that. Coach, coach Atkinson just said that your offense may be the best he's ever seen, maybe the best of all time. What do you that made this the perfect combination of talent and chemistry that made well, it? Maybe so. like four Hall of Famers on our <laughs> roster. That might have something to do with it. Um, no, I, I think, um, you know, we, we're obviously very lucky with, to have the roster that we do. Um, coming at a time when the league has really gone towards ball movement and spacing and flow. And so I, I've learned a lot from my mentors, um, and from people in this league uh, who have influenced the way the game is being played right now. And it just so happens we have a roster that I think suits that, that style that you're seeing around the league. And we got a bunch of players who are really unselfish. They like to share the ball. That's um, it's a big deal. Coach, we'll get the for your coaching? You <laughs> That's your job. You can do a sideline report and just tell everybody how great I am. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Coach, how helpful is it for you to have a player like Omri Caspi on a day like this that they run to the injured? Yeah, we love uh, Omri. Um, you know, every game, he just, when I put him in, he brings energy and um, he, um, he just knows how to play. He fits in our style, but uh, his personality is so important to our team because he's one of those guys who never complains, works his tail off, uh, brings life, brings energy. And, um, you know, sometimes I play him, sometimes I don't, but he's always ready. Who gets to start tonight, Coach? Um, you guys have your phones ready? Oh, we're ready. Getting ready to, to tweet? We're ready to go. Okay. Uh, Omri Caspi will start. Awesome. Well, what, what went into that decision? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until everybody's done with it. They're doing <laughs> <laughs> it's just out of respect for everybody. It's modern, modern society um, calls for... Uh, Pause during the no, no, yeah. so, yeah. so I like the slinky. I prefer okay. this. <laughs> you guys are, Chris, let me know when you're done with your tweet. I'm almost there. Okay. <laughs> so you like the slinky over the yo-yo growing up? I, I like both. Yeah. You may see a yo-yo eventually during a, during a Twitter pause. We'll see. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be on stairs, right? Aren't we supposed to put it like this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Raymond didn't bring the prop from the, uh, the stair prop. So. All right. I'm, I'm coach, coach. What's that? You want to buy that yourself? Oh, Raymond did. Raymond, <laughs> Raymond and I <laughs> collaborate on our skits and bits. <laughs> coach, you look and sound well. How are you feeling? I'm doing better. Thank you for asking. Okay. On Caspi, though, is this a reward, a matchup, both? I love what he brings energy wise and on a back to back after a very uh, emotional uh, night where we expended a lot of energy. I think Omri. Uh, suits this game really well, um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. But you know, we'll we'll give a lot of other people a chance to play too on a night like this. But I think he gives us the best chance to get off to a good start against a team that I know is going to bring a lot of energy and um, come right at us. Is there an art to his cutting? It's just an awareness. It's just a, um, an ability to see the game and anticipate things before they happen. And he's um, among the best in the league. And uh, so the thing I was feared about him, coaching against him, was he's going to back cut us to death. And the way we play with the floor open, um, that kind of cutting not only leads to layups for him, but you know you, you take the defense with you, and now the, the backside of the play is open, and somebody's getting a three because of Omri's cut. So, um, yeah, he's perfect for us. Coach, will you watch? What would you like to say about Zaza Pachuli? I'm kind, I'm from country Georgia. It's very important for us, and yeah. we support him. And we would like to know about him from you. Well, uh, Zaza is. Um, I don't know what else I can say about Zaza in terms of what he does for our team. Um, his toughness, his intelligence, um, 
he's a, a great teammate. Uh, he plays so hard every night and competes. Um, his his two boys are our ball boys on this trip, and they're awesome. We love the we love the Pachulia kids. And uh, Zaza told me last night uh, after losing in Boston, and then we were down 20 at halftime last night. He said if um, if we didn't win this game, he was going to FedEx his kids back to the Bay. <laughs> I'm glad we won so that uh, he didn't have to stuff the kids into a FedEx box. And <laughs> He's the best. We love Zaza. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coach, will anybody be, any, any of your players be limited minutes-wise due to how you guys Not necessarily, came? but we'll see. You know, we'll feel how it goes. You always seem to come here. It's like your sixth game in nine days. Today it's three and four nights. Is the league doing enough to space out the schedule, in your opinion? Yes. Yeah. I think it's, the schedule's been great. Um, We've uh, we've avoided the, um, the, the games where it just feels insane that you're even playing. Um, this is not not too bad, really. I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's third and four nights, but it's uh, you know we get two days before our Oklahoma City game. It, to me, it's usually that you know the and the thinking back uh, to last year, even it's those, those stretches where you go like four and five nights or. Crazy travel and all of our travel here on this this trip is very confined to the Northeast, and so we're getting plenty of sleep. I, I think the league has been brilliant in the in the schedule making. You think that the way that they've done that this season will make the new rules that they introduced about resting less uh, I don't want to say less relevant, but less of an issue for yes, you guys? Yes, one hundred percent. You know, last year when I rested all four or five guys in San Antonio and the, the uproar came. Um, you know, you can look back at that schedule and, um, you know, you do the map thing where you're, you're going like this and anybody in their right mind would go, what the hell are they thinking? You know, it was literally, I still have it memorized because, you know, what we went through it was, it was eight games in eight cities in 13 days. And I don't know, I don't remember the mileage, but it was two cross country trips and we arrived, we had a back to back Minnesota, San Antonio. On this, it was insane. And uh, the great thing about Adam and the league is that um, Adam listens, and um, and I sat down with him and talked to him about that, and he said, "You're right." Um, and he said, "The the deal that we would like to strike with you guys is we'll improve the schedule, and you you know follow some guidelines in terms of resting people. You know, if you could do it on at home instead of on the road, um, if you not not do mass substitute or not mass uh, resting all at once. Um, and I this schedule has made it easy to avoid." Anything like that? If, uh, with Durant, I know there's an actual injury there, but I mean, if this were a case where you just needed to rest on this one day, would you guys have felt comfortable saying, you know what, this this is a moment, and it's it's not a national game, it's just one guy? I mean, would you have felt like it was within the spirit of? Uh, I, I haven't given that one bit of thought, and there it is a little bit ambiguous. I know Pop mentioned that, you know, um, who's a star, who's not a star, you know, what if a guy's uh, exhausted on the road and not at home. I mean, there are some ambiguities, but um, this is just a case of a guy being injured. And so we'll, you know, as the season goes, maybe I'll have a better answer for you on that front. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you.